Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Black Friday is right around the corner and one of my viewers asked me what my favorite Zoya products were or Zoya must-haves. So I decided to throw this video up because on Black Friday Zoya usually has a 50% off sale. I typically wait for that all year to stock up on my favorites. So I this is this is one of my must-haves. I love this nail polish remover. I go through maybe about a little bit more than this bottle a year. Um, I think this year, yeah, I've I've just went through one bottle, and and now I'm starting my second one. But I've also given away teeny little bottles to my um, relatives too because they're starting to do their nails, and I like <laughs> I really like this re um, this remover. So I'll probably get another bottle just to make sure that I'm going to last until the next 50% off sale because this is a great deal. Offhand, I can't remember how much it is, but I love this nail polish remover so much. It doesn't dry out your skin the way acetone does, so it your fingers look better. Anyway, so I use it for removing my nail polish and for cleanup around my nails in my videos. I've also, um, I've also come across this, and this is a sugar scrub and a lotion with it, and they have a whole bunch of different scents. I have grapefruit and strawberry cranberry, and I also have mandarin honey. I like fruity scents, and these are completely amazing. Oh my gosh. Plus, I bought them in this trial kit. You can buy each one separately, but if you buy them in these Try Me kits, they are so much cheaper. Um, I want to say maybe it was like $22 to $25 for the both sets. And they are full-size bottles here and a full-size scrub. So you're not getting any kind of little bitty um, thing. You're getting the same same size that they sell separately, only you're getting it so much cheaper. Okay, I'm a little bit of a hand cream junkie here. <laughs> so I, when I first started um, with the Zoya, using the Voya, Zoya hand creams, I had actually gotten a small sample of each of these. It's a hydrating serum, which I love. I put that on first and then I follow up with the hand cream. So these are the two that I started with and I completely love them so much. So I did, at the last sale, I did restock. I bought one more of each of these along with all that other hand lotion you just saw. And I just, I love it all. I can't decide which I like to use more, but I think I've barely dented this in the past year. I think this is going to carry me through the next few years, to tell you the truth. I don't think I want to have to stock up anytime soon. Okay, now we're going to the, the foot cream. So this is the Overnight Intensive Foot Repair Balm, and I love it. It is amazing. It makes your feet super soft. Um, I mean, mine aren't really hard to begin with, but, you know, they get rough. <laughs> and this just, like, clears them up right away within a couple of days. Um, this is a completely amazing product. I bought it on the last Black Friday sale, or no, actually I think it was two years ago on the Black Friday sale, and I still had some because you use, you know, you don't have to use a ton of this, and then I did buy this, they had another sale during the year, so I, start, I got another one because I know it lasts for quite a while. Since I like that so much, I bought the Overnight Intensive Repair Balm, and I do love this one as well. I put this on before I go to bed, and it's nice and thick, and it's completely amazing, and my hands are so soft when I use it, so <laughs> I like to use it. Awesome products. And because it was a good sale, I bought the Intensive Total Hydrating Therapy Lotion. Actually, most of these things I got recently on a 70% off sale that they had not too long ago. So 
everything I'm showing you, I got it 70% off, but 50% off is still a really good deal. I'll be getting some more um, remover and I think I'm good with the lotions. So we shouldn't need that anymore. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, the 70% off sales are few and far between. I remember one year they had it, and then the next year they didn't, and then this year they had one earlier in the year. So I don't know if another one's going to be coming up before the end of the year or after the end of the year. I don't know, but buy what you need. It's a 50% off sale, and then if a 70% off sale comes around, then buy double, you know, <laughs> because you can't go wrong with 70% off. Um, also, they actually have something that if I if I can remember and I can find the information, if you text um, something to a phone number, they will text you when they have sales. And I find that's how I found out about the 70% off sale or any of their sales, any of their sales that come up, they text me. And then if I want to participate, I can participate. I also have this, which I really like. It's um, a little, it's cuticle oil gel. And so I love this little guy to throw in my purse for when I used to, you know, like at work or something like that. Well, right now I work from home, so not going out anywhere. But this is a little nice thing um, to put in. Like, I don't know, nobody's traveling either. So it's just nice because it's not like a liquid in a bottle. It's a little gel and you can throw it in your purse. It's not going to, it's not going to break. It's not going to get all over the place. So this is really good to keep your cuticles hydrated and nice. I did want to talk about this intensive lip therapy, uh, intensive lip therapy bomb. I tried to use it a few times. It's kind of like using <sighs> Vicks Vapor Rub on your lips. It's kind of weird. It's all, I'm, I'm I probably wouldn't buy this again, but I just wanted to show you this in case you saw all this other stuff and you thought that maybe this was an amazing product. I don't know why it's weird, but I do not care for it. But, you know, if you get a good sale and you want to try it, go ahead. I'm just warning you that it's kind of strange on your lips. Something else that you might think is fun is one of the Naked Manicure Jelly Cure Kits. I have not had a ton of time to play with this, to tell you the truth. I take off my manicures too fast, but I did play with it a little bit, um, once or twice, and I kind of like it. The kits come with a bunch of stuff. I actually got this free when I bought a bunch of nail polish, so it comes with cotton balls. It comes with, like, little remover... Um, it comes with lint-free pads, all kinds of stuff, and then what you need for the, the jelly cure thing. So that's, that's kind of cool. So I liked, I kind of liked that. And because I actually do go and visit my mom once a month still, because we're both in quarantine anyway, um, I bought this cute little bag. This was empty. It wasn't in there. I think it might come with the bigger kit, but I didn't get the bigger kit. So I can have all my little jelly cure things in there. Um, so this is all my jelly cure kit stuff. Oh, and the little lamp. It fits real nice in there. So I kind of like it. It's got like these little mesh or this little plastic thing you can zipper. And then over here is like a little mesh one. So I got this. I don't know. I think it was 50. I think I did pay 50% off on this one. But I figured I got the kit. I might as well just get this little thing too. And anyways, that way I don't have to bring the box with or anything like that. And of course, don't forget the polish. They have so many amazing finishes. They have sparkly um, duochrome finishes. Um, they have pixie dusts for the textured finish. They've got, there's more sparkly creams, awesome creams. They also have like a hollow polish, which I love. And when they come in so many different colors. And then they've got toppers. So you've got some amazing toppers. And then, of course, don't forget the leopard spot. You know, kind of like crackle-like topper. Very cool. 
and you can use it over anything. So I, you know, highly suggest their nail polishes are pretty awesome. Um, I'm thinking that is about it. That'll get your list going. There are some really good, I suggest if you, you know, if you're not knowing what kind of polishes you want, I believe I have a playlist, um, in my, down in with my playlists. And I think I saved like all of Kelly Marissa's um, swatch videos for Zoya to that playlist. So you can watch those because she's one that's really good and I watch all of her swatch videos. I also have a bunch of swatch videos from older polishes and polishes that you typically aren't seeing in, um, in swatch videos that I did swatch videos of the last few hauls that I did. So that might be of interest to you too. I kind of color grouped it a little bit or finish grouped it. I don't remember, but I did something. So you can check out my videos as well. And you'll probably want to get started watching those videos to make your list for Black Friday. I hope that's about it for this video. Um, hold on. Oops, I forgot a few other things. They do have matte velvet nail polishes, and they have a cuticle balm, which I have. I did want to show you the difference between remover and acetone, what it does to your nails and how much you're um, actually doing to your skin and everything like that. So normally when I take off some nail polish, for most of my nail polishes so that I don't get... Um, so I don't get it smeared all over my skin. What I'll do is I'll just take a little cotton round. I don't like cotton because that like gets everywhere. Cotton fuzz, and I've tried it, trust me. It's horrible. So anyways, I usually just wrap my finger in it and put this little thing on there and let it soak for well, like three minutes or something like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm going to show you the difference of what your fingernails actually look like. So I'm going to come back in three minutes. Okay, so it's been three minutes. I'm just going to take this off and this one and let's see. You can see how much drier the one hand, the one nail is compared to the other one. I mean, this one's still a little bit dry, but um, not as bad as the acetone one. So just wanted to give you like a reference in case you're wondering whether you should buy the Remove Plus or not. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Leave a comment in the comments below, like what you think, you know, are you going to pick up any of these things on Black Friday? Are you excited to try any of these things? Or do you have any questions about any of these things? And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.